In my humble opinion, most guys out there are afraid to actually begin life. Now that might sound like a weird thing to say, but let me explain, right? For a lot of guys who are aged 18 to, let's say, 25, a video that I've just filmed and will be out soon, life changes a lot, right? Life changes a lot, and things are expected in life that weren't expected previously. When you become 18, roughly around that age, perhaps different in different countries, but roughly around that age, universally, you are an adult, right? And you can do a lot of stuff. You can go out all night. You can, you can have fun with your friends. You know, I've just spoke about that in that video, but you can do so much stuff. But also you then have responsibilities that were not seen in the past. You know, think about being a kid. Think about what you had to do to be the cool kid in school. All you needed is like, I don't know, the thousand pound iPhone, which is a lot of money for a kid, but not, it's nothing really, is it? A thousand pound iPhone and you're the coolest kid in school till the next one comes out. But it's not much. As the years go on, more is expected you know you come into 20 20 let's say right have you got a driving license have you got a car 22 have you got a place of your own 23 24 have you got a girlfriend have you got a wife 25 26 are you getting a mortgage 27 what's your career development looking like 28 what's, what's your savings are you having a family you know and it's like oh life gets serious fast and we all really deep down know this we all know this is a case and how we go about dealing with that is up to us, right? For some people it doesn't have to be, some people really are comfortable not changing their life situation but for most people they want a sense of change or they're going to want to both because of societal pressures and because of, you know, I, I don't want to be a 27 year old living with my parents putting pressure financially on them. I, I don't want to be, take, this is not me, this is generally though, generally it's like, I don't want to be taking girls to my to my mum's house at aged. 20, 25? It's, it's not, it's, it's not cool, right? It's not cool. So we all deep down know that things change. But I think a lot of guys are scared to actually jump into this because it means that they have to make such a substantial jump and leap in their life is it's just going to be hard to acknowledge. It's just going to be hard for them to, to actually jump on. And to do that, to, to jump on this path, you need to acknowledge another thing. That where I am right now simply isn't good enough. And most people don't want to do that because it's not it's not a nice thing to actually admit, is it? That I am not good enough or I'm not doing good enough right now. The good thing is you can change it. But generally that's bad. It doesn't feel nice either. So I think for that reason a lot of guys are, afra are afraid to actually jump into it. And also they may not feel the pressure to because nobody else is, right? If you're from a small town or a relatively small town like me, it is perfectly acceptable to be not that well achieved ever. Like, you'll have certain people that'll be working in a factory forever. So, so if that's the bar, you're not expected to go very far, right? So what am I saying here? Whilst it's comfortable for a lot of people to be living a standard life because people around them are or whatever, Deep down you know, I think we all do, deep down we know when we're not doing well enough and we all know how to change that, but it does take the acknowledgement that we're not doing well enough and that's horrible, that's hard to admit. But here's the thing, right, if we don't take the time to acknowledge this, what's going to happen? Well, life keeps moving, right, and, and, and again, standards keep moving, you're expected to achieve more and more to, to be an average person as the years go on, this is just a societal thing, if you ever want to have a family and stuff like that you're going to need a, a decent amount of money probably if you want to do it well if, if you want to have serious dating prospects to get the nicest girls that you can well yeah money is not everything of course it's not but look money is a sign in the modern world of someone who's ambitious well achieved so if you drive a nice car if you've got a good job it says a lot about you you're in your own business well done these are just facts yeah that, i think so at least so there's there's all that so life keeps moving around you, and more and more is expected. And you'll, still, you'll soon realise that you don't get the same accreditation for being a loser that you did when you were 20. I, I made the video on this just like I said, but, you know, you're our age right now, 2021. 20, oh well, you're in university, you've got a part-time job maybe, you, you might not even have a job at all, who cares? You, 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 you're young, you've got time to figure it out. But this changes, this changes as time goes on. Now with a fear to actually accept and adopt life, comes a level of helplessness 
and an absolute stagnation, which will result in worse outcomes, but also will result in a lack of self-fulfillment. Because think about it, right? Even if it's not necessarily what you want to do, what you do now is a, a step in your journey. So me, I, I run my own online businesses, but I thought, okay, I can get more money coming in. I've got enough free time that I can get a lot more money coming in. I'm going to get a job as well. And this is now part of my story, right? I'm not really for the nine to five world long term. It's not my ambition, but at the same note, this is money coming in, a lot of money coming in from two streams, actually a few streams, to be honest. And this can just keep developing and developing. But but if you don't do it like that, if you don't pick what you want to do, life picks for you, right? Life will pick for you. And this is true, right? Because I've kind of chosen what I wanted to do for the short to mid term, maybe even the long term, it depends, right? Number of factors. But because I'm deciding on what I want to do, I have a plan and I have a strategy and it's going to plan. So I've got savings if I need to fall back on anything. I've got savings if I want to invest in anything to get more income coming in. I've got things like that. But if you let life blow you about, well, what's going to happen? You, you might end up with a good job, to be honest. Someone might just take a liking to you. You might not. You might not. It doesn't matter what it is that you do, but what you do has got to be taken seriously. So back on my point of starting life, right? There's never for much for most people that real pressure to get on with stuff. It comes from internal. It's, it's a self-driven thing because most people will be happy with standard or even subpar because it makes them feel better. So because there's no motivation to do it or there's no drive to do it, you have to be that force. And what comes with that? It comes with a lot of firsts. It comes with doing stuff for the first time a lot of times. Now, I think what a lot of guys forget is that this is what arguably was the most fun part of our lives. For me, it was, if I'm honest, if I'm really honest, right? When did I meet the most people? Well, I didn't really enjoy school that much, to be honest, but there was a community, there was a sense of community there. And I have got some fun and funny memories from school. College, same thing is true. Didn't really like that many people from there, but I made a couple of friends that I still talk to now. University, made a lot of good friends, a lot of good friends, had a lot of experiences that I wouldn't have otherwise had. And they are all, minus school, because you're forced to do school, but minus that, they are all opportunities that you voluntarily sought, sought difficulty in, right? You chose life. You chose to do something with your life. But past university age, there's no more guidance. You know, from school to university, that path is a clear linear progression. You go to school, you go to college, you go to university. It, it's planned out. So most guys are comfortable with that. But what comes next? Now you can be anything. You can be anything in the world. You want to be an idiot like me who makes videos on the internet and hopes that you can make some money from that? So it is a viable career path, possibly. You want to sell stuff online like I do. I make money from that, decent amount. You want to work in a shop, you can do that. Want to be an engineer, that could be you. Want to be a truck driver, you, you get the point. You can be anything in the world. And that's a beautiful thing. That is a beautiful thing. And this is why... You shouldn't be afraid to choose to do something with your life, right? And this is what I've realized. It's why I'm actually really happy with the position that I find myself in right now. Because it was difficult times in a way that brought this to my attention. But I started to realize, okay, okay. So realistically, I could be doing all my businesses and making a lot of money. And I, I am going to, I'm going to continue to do. Of course, it's working. Why wouldn't you? But at the same note, Working in a job is going to give me experience, or has given me experience, that I wouldn't have otherwise had. And I wouldn't have otherwise seeked, right? To be honest, the reason why I ended up applying for a job in the first place is because I miscalculated my, like, savings amount to the point where I thought, I need some money now. I didn't. I didn't need the money at all. But I'm still glad that I got the job, and I'm still going for it, and I still applied for it. Because this is an experience now that I probably wouldn't have seeked out by myself. And what's going to come with that? Who am I going to meet? Where am I going to go? What progression is going to come from that? What experiences, what learning lessons am I going to have? And this is where most guys get scared because past college, university, you can be average. I'm going to get a basic job, no job, whatever. But life's going to talk to you either way, right? Life's going to teach you what you've been. Life's going to show you what you've been. 
and I speak about the concept of market forces before and what I mean by that is people respect you based on who you are if you're the guy who's been working hard on your grind for the last 10 15 20 years now you've got a Ferrari well that's cool that's really cool people are gonna respect that in a way you built a business really respectable your peers are gonna respect that what where does that put you socially because I think a lot of people specifically a lot of young guys like a lifestyle image you know, a guy's got a Porsche, oh, that's great, you know. You can have a Porsche by 30 if you're 25 now. It's not unbelievable. Yeah, it's going to mean a lot of hard work, but you're not too late. I think a lot of people go down that avenue, I'm too late. I don't think you are. Whatever it is, whether it's business, job, both, investments, whatever it is, you can still make something of your life. But it's when you choose not to, life chooses for you. And what I will say as well, is there's gonna be people who, uh, I like to think like me, because I like to think I'm, I'm trying to make big changes, or at least I've made some huge changes in my life in the past month, but what I'm saying is, people like me, and people much more driven than me. And this is a thing, right? Whether it's that great job that's got a great salary, whether it's you know trying to sell things to customers, and if, if you can only put in half effort, because you don't care that much, there's going to be a me who's putting in 100% effort. And there's going to be a someone else who's putting in 200% effort. And whether it's me or whether it's a person doing even better than me, people are going to win out over you if you're not trying hard. Someone else is going to get the management position because they're a more attractive candidate. They wrote out their CV better. They, they're they a harder worker, right? So they deserve a promotion. Whatever it is, life doesn't generally... Not always, because there are exceptions to the rule. But in my experience, life does not always reward people who don't care. Or people who look like they don't care. So whatever it is that you want to achieve, whatever the dream is or the goal, just know it's not coming unless you seek it. Because like I say, someone else wants that job. Someone else wants that car. Someone else wants so someone else will wake up at six AM to to do some work before work to work on their business therefore they'll make more sales therefore they'll get more customers therefore they'll have more money therefore they're more likely to have the car therefore they're more likely to buy that house therefore they're more likely to get that girl and start their dream family and have their dream life so if you're scared to start life someone else isn't right and this is what i'm realizing this is why i've had to go honestly like, like, like head first dive into it because it's true it's true right I'm not saying that it means a specific thing, because it means different things for different people. Whether it means work, whether it means hitting the gym more, whether it means realising a few facts about yourself and about life. Life revolve, re revolve, yeah, it revolves kind of, or, or, or yeah, I guess revolves. Whether you do or don't, right, it's still turning. Someone else is still advancing themselves, still going to the gym, still working on their projects. Someone else is caring, right? So if you're not, well, there's no guarantee that life's going to be as comfortable for you as you may like. And I think that's a harsh message, but I think it may honestly be the truth. 